Welcome to this Pixelogic ZBrush the basics course. Okay so I want to quickly go over what this course is going to cover and what it's not going to cover and the main reasons I decided to do this course for free. Okay so uh, let's discuss what we're going to be doing in the course. First of all I'm going to be covering the kind of basics so we're going to have a look at places you can go for references and to download plugins etc and we're also going to have a look at the running of ZBrush and system requirements. We're going to move on to then basic primitive uh, setups um, navigation in ZBrush and primitive setups with initialization as well. Uh, we're then going to move on to the main moving scan and rotations and using the gizmo as well as the transpose tool inside of ZBrush. We're going to then look at brush basics and we're going to also look at using subdivisions and DynaMesh inside of ZBrush. That will move us on to masking and smoothing using those. Uh, we're going to be setting up lightings and I'm going to be showing you how to apply different materials as well. Then we're going to move on to putting it all into practice. So I'm going to do a quick uh, 16 minute video that shows you a pipeline right the way through. So how you can use all the skills that you will have learnt and put them into practice. Now this course is for total beginners of ZBrush. The reason I wanted to do this course is there's a few reasons. One is to actually get ZBrush out there to more people that are thinking of buying the program and just getting into 3D in general. ZBrush is probably uh, one of the best programs to use because it is very intuitive and quick to get going without having to know too much of the technicalities of the program until you start getting into it in a more intermediate to advanced level. So the other reasons why it, um, I wanted to do this course, it means that you don't have to pay for anything and you can see whether you like my teaching style or not. It also means that I don't have to keep adding beginner sections to all of my beginners courses that I do inside ZBrush. Currently I've been doing a beginner section and that takes quite a lot of time so I thought if I combine it into one course that's free then it means I don't have to do that. Now um, this is a beginners course for my particular classes so I'm not going to um, take the risk of saying you can take any intermediate um, or advanced course after you've taken this beginners course because it's for my courses so it's specially designed to work in conjunction with my other intermediate to advanced courses that's important to remember okay so you can also see if ZBrush is the right fit with, for you without spending any money on a course now as well as that in the bonus section I have lots of goodies in there, lots of uh, links to my Udemy courses as well as my Facebook group and any bonuses that I put in that bonus section. You'll find that at the bottom, the last course lecture in this uh, training series. Okay so I do hope you like this course, um, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Um, just take the course and see what you think and let me know and join my Facebook group so I can talk to you.